Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Griffin. I'm an assistant professor of management and I teach and research organizational behavior and leadership. And today we're going to be talking about a very important individual motivational theory called expectancy theory. Let's dig right in. One of the most powerful and often least understood models of individual motivation is Victor Vroom's expectancy theory. This theory is useful in understanding why people are or are not motivated. This theory states that individuals are motivated by their belief that effort will result in performance, performance will lead to rewards, and that rewards are valuable, and that these three forces are called valence, instrumentality, and expectancy. According to Vroom, motivation comes from the combination of these three different factors. One, an individual has to believe that if they put in effort, they will perform well. This is referred to as expectancy. Two, an individual has to believe that if they perform well, they will actually accomplish the goal or objective they're going after. This is referred to as instrumentality. And three, an individual has to believe that the reward they are going to receive is valuable. This is referred to as valence. In essence, for an individual to be motivated, they must believe that effort will lead to performance, performance will lead to a reward, and that the reward is something valuable. If any of these three different aspects are missing, motivation is likely to be low. Let's look at a few real world examples. Imagine for a moment that you are the boss of a company that sells solar panels. So you're door-to-door -door salespeople for solar panels. Your employees go door-to-door, -door, they try to sell solar panels to various homeowners, and despite the success some of the other salespeople have had, you have noticed three of your employees feeling extremely unmotivated. So let's look at these three employees from the context of expectancy theory. The first employee, Samantha, is brand new to your team. She does not have prior sales experience and frequently gets nervous when talking to customers. Based on her experience, she quickly felt that no matter what level of effort she put into knocking on doors, she never made any sales. This was discouraging to her because she knew that if she could make a good sales pitch, she would make sales. Additionally, with each sale, she would get a much needed commission check. In this example, Samantha knows that her performance will lead to a reward and that she values the reward but she does not believe that her effort will lead to high performance. In this example, her level of expectancy is low and her overall motivation is low. Let's look at the second employee, Diego. Diego is an amazing salesperson. He has worked in this industry for many years and consistently makes sales. He knows that making a good sales pitch will lead to many sales and he values the commission that comes from those sales. However, because of the current recession, lenders are stricter in who they will make solar loans to. Now, despite making an effective sales pitch, Diego is uncertain if he will actually make any sales. In this example, Diego knows that he can make sales, he's done it before, and he values that commission that comes from the sales. But with stricter lending requirements, it is unclear if his solar sales will actually lead to a commission. His level of instrumentality is low, and his overall motivation is low. Now let's look at the third employee, John. John is a good employee. He understands how to make sales and he knows that if he makes sales, he will earn a commission. However, John recently became a grandfather. Despite making sales and earning a commission, he feels like he is spending too much time on the road. John no longer values the rewards that come from the job as his priorities in life have shifted. In this example, his level of valence towards earning a commission is low and his overall motivation is low. From our examples, we can see that motivation is a function of three separate but important factors. Individuals are motivated to the degree that they believe their effort will lead to high performance, that their performance will lead to the attainment of a reward, and the degree to which they value that reward. This equation is important for managers for a variety of different reasons. One, expectancy is the belief that an individual's effort will result in successful performance. Managers play a critical role in building and nurturing employee confidence in their abilities. This can be achieved through training, skill development programs, and providing the necessary resources and support. When employees are confident in their capabilities, they are more likely to exert effort and perform at their best, increasing the likelihood of achieving desired outcomes. So for Samantha, 
if her manager came and helped her improve her sales pitch, she would likely be more motivated. Two, instrumentality refers to an individual's belief that their efforts will lead to a desired outcome. In other words, it's the perception that performance will directly influence the attainment of a particular reward. Managers must ensure that employees perceive a clear link between their efforts and the rewards they desire. This requires transparent communication, setting realistic performance expectations, and providing regular feedback. When employees believe that their hard work will be rewarded, they are more likely to stay motivated and committed to achieving organizational goals. So for the example of Diego, the manager may need to change the compensation structure to say, as long as you make a sale and have them submit that loan application paperwork, you can get some type of commission because it's kind of out of your hands now. So there has to be transparency and the manager needs to communicate the link between performance and the attainment of reward. And lastly is valence. Valence represents the value or desirability an individual places on the outcomes or rewards associated with a particular behavior or task. In a managerial context, valence is crucial because it helps managers understand what rewards or outcomes are most important to their employees. Managers need to identify and ally these valences with the, organizational's go with the organization's goals to motivate employees effectively. For instance, some employees may highly value monetary rewards, while others may prioritize recognition or career advancement. By recognizing these differences, managers can tailor their motivational strategies to cater to individual valences, thereby increasing overall employee satisfaction and performance. So with our last example, John, he doesn't want to be on the road. So if his manager can maybe transition him to more of a support role where he can help people make sales, but maybe have a more nine to five schedule so he can spend time with his grandkids. In summary, Victor Vroom's expectancy theory provides a powerful framework for understanding motivation, highlighting the critical interplay between expectancy, instrumentality, and valence for motivation in individuals. This theory emphasizes that motivation thrives when individuals believe their effort leads to performance, performance leads to rewards, and these rewards hold personal value. For managers, Vroom's theory serves as a valuable tool to optimize employee motivation, which in turn can lead to improved performance and organizational success. Understanding and applying these principles can create a more motivated, engaged, and productive workforce, ultimately benefiting both employees and the organization as a whole. Now, how has this theory stood up to the test of time? Pretty well, actually. Many people have built on this theory, such as Porter and Lawler or self-determination theory. Something that I'm using in my dissertation is actually how individual motivation from expectancy theory applies to individuals within a group. That's the collective effort model put forth by Caro and Williams. So expectancy theory is a really important process for understanding individual motivation. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. You have a great day and happy learning.